She insisted that we girls take piano, and my brother for that matter, we, she insisted that we take piano lessons. And, and so she was always wanted us to use our music in some way. And, and I'll tell you the truth. Can I just play this for you real quick? I hated piano lessons. <laughs> I was not a good student. I had the uh, attention span of a cocker spaniel puppy. <laughs> and so I, I just wasn't, uh, you know, I just didn't stick with the lessons like I should. And, and so, of course, Mother always wanted us to learn songs of the church in case we would need to use them uh, for any time, you know. And she was the church piano player, and I guess she thought she might get sick, and we'd have to fill in. And so the first song, of course, I ever learned... <laughs> Jesus loves me in a very bitter fashion. <laughs> it never really goes over, you know. <laughs> so I tried to move on, you know, to something else that would that the you know heavy-handedness wouldn't matter. So I, I got kind of tired of trying to study piano, and I started studying piano players. <laughs> Because when I was a kid, there were some funny piano players out there. I, I mean, I'm not being ugly, but if you memorized a couple of chords with your left hand, you could play any hymn in the Bible, I mean, in the, in the hymnal. You know what I'm talking about? They played three or four different chords with your left hand. You could play any hymnal out there like this. You could go all night. <laughs> Is this blessing anyone? <laughs> so I have to tell you this the funniest thing as a teenager was. Um, the quartets. We lived in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina for a little while so we could uh, get quartets to come to our church. <laughs> Sad but true. And the funny thing about, you know, quartets back in those days, now they're very sophisticated, but back there it was like... <laughs> <laughs> Just a few slow learners back there. <laughs> The quartets back then, man, they had that polyester suit and that Elvis hair. They were so cute. And I don't mean this ugly, but, you know, Minnie Pearl used to say, just because you're on a diet don't mean you don't look in the refrigerator. <laughs> in Jesus' name. <laughs> so these quartets would come, and they were so cute, and I'd sit on the front row. <sighs> You know, and, and because they had that cool turnaround. You know what I mean? It means if you like the song, they turn around and do it again. You know what I threw that in there for free. <laughs> so the part of my testimony that is uh, scary to me and difficult because uh, my children are here <laughs> is I, I, I went to college, believe it or not. I went to a, a wonderful old Christian school in Nashville, Tennessee for a brief time and, and they suggested another one uh, down the... <laughs> Thought I'd just tell you that before the National Enquirer did. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I transferred to uh, Austin P. University in Clarksville, Tennessee, not very far from where we are this very night. Evidently, people care. And so <laughs> <laughs> that school showed up in droves tonight, didn't they? <laughs> this it's just a part of my testimony I uh, got a job there was a little holiday in little hotel of some sort um, 
near the campus where I was going to school, and I was broke and, and, and didn't know a lot and needed to get a job. And I discovered there was a little room down there uh, that served beverages, um, <laughs> had unusual lighting, and, <laughs> and a piano over in the corner. Uh, and if you put a jar on there, You could collect a little offering. <laughs> now, for those of you who don't know what a tip jar is, right. <laughs> Maybe you're uncomfortable with the concept. <laughs> the hard thing is, can now you got picture this, there is nothing more uh, uncomfortable. Now, in my mother's world, in the old-fashioned terms, she used the word conviction a lot. You don't know how convicting it is to know that you're probably someplace you really don't need to be. And you're away from what you know to be right and true in your life, and, and there you are. And you're playing some bluesy music in a dark room trying to make a couple of dollars. <laughs> and you look out... And there's your mother sitting on the front row. <laughs> with a glass of milk and a King James Bible. <laughs> so then I discovered, you know, <laughs> if I just changed the words around a little bit, that maybe she would uh, think I was witnessing. <laughs> you know, and that would make me a little more comfortable and it would help, you know, help her a little bit. So... This was my, my big hit. Don't know why ain't no sun up in the sky Stormy weather Since my Lord and I ain't together Keeps raining all the time When he went away, old blues walked in and met me. If he stays away, I know my mom's gonna get me. All I do is pray the Lord above. to get her <laughs> keeps raining all the time Sunday school starts at 10 <laughs> Thanks a lot.